and here we are week 52 we did it the whole year of art journal challenges and so today our verse is John 8 32 and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free and the prompts this week are free so we're going to key in on the word free collage and ribbon so those are your three prompts. I'm going to go ahead and just sew my pages and think about what I'm going to do. And then I'll be back. OK, I am back. So it's just about dry, but I'm, I think I have sort of an idea. I am going to do a bird flying out of a cage for freedom. And so I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and paint the background this cool blue colors just sort of like a sky color I was thinking wow I'm used I've used a lot of blue but that is just the way it goes <laughs> and I might want to do maybe a lighter blue up at the top I don't know we'll see what happens so I'm just going to use a chip brush and start brushing this out got this clipped over here to hold it because it's gotten so fat it doesn't really want to stay open anymore very well I don't like to have just a uniform color so I think I might add a dark blue at the bottom and white at the top and blend that in maybe we'll see here in a minute hmm maybe I'll do purple at the bottom just to add some variety I like these two colors together a lot. That's one of my favorite color combinations. So if I can keep from getting too much purple here. Okay, well, it's not going to blend that, that smoothly, it doesn't look like. I'm trying to keep my wax paper in there to protect the other pages. And then white at the top. Let's see. And I'm just using my Apple Barrel paint from Walmart here. <laughs> I'm going to use a clean chip brush here. And I think I'm going to let it be like that, be kind of a textured. Instead of trying to get it a smooth transition, I'm just going to let it be like that. I guess I'll let that dry, and then I'm going to have to figure out. So for collage, I'm thinking about my cage, what to build it out of. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I will be back. OK, I am back. And I keep changing my mind on what I'm going to do, but I think I, so I found a bird online instead of trying to paint one. I just went ahead and got an image of a dove and printed it out. And I'm just going to glue that on. Okay, I am back. And I've had a couple of different thoughts on how to do this. But I think what I'm going to do, so I, I found an image of a dove online instead of trying to paint one. I decided to just use that. And I cut it out. And so I'm going to glue that on there, I think. And then the the I'm going to have a bird cage, and I think I was going to collage it with strips of paper, but I think I'm just I think I'm going to try to draw it and then use words to make it. Now I know that collage is one of the descriptors we or the uh, prompts we have, so I guess I'm collaging with by putting the image of the bird, and then I'm going to add some ribbon. So I guess I am. <laughs> I am doing it. I just am not doing it like I thought I would. So 
I'm going to just sort of draw, I think, a birdcage and pencil. And I have I want to have the open door, which of course is lifted up here and has the lines on it. And then I hate to draw it with pencil on here because it's not going to be very easy to erase it, even with a needed eraser. But OK, and then what I'm going to do is just start to write words. We'll see if this works or not. I don't know how this will look. We'll find out. So I'm just going to start writing words um, like things that we're free from. So. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this ribbon to look like action, like of the bird flying. Mm, I think I probably need fabric tack. Uh-oh. I thinned it down, and boy, is it coming out now. Ooh. Okay. Just another one. We'll see. <laughs> Try not to get my fingers in the fabric tack.
Maybe I'll tack that ribbon down right there. Okay. All right. And so now all I have to do is the scripture. Okay, well that is it. <laughs> so I've got my cage with all the sins that we've been set free from and hopefully that illustrates the door. I probably should put more lines in it but that's okay. I'm gonna stop there. I might do it later. <laughs> but this is dry. Okay, well thanks a lot everybody for uh, going along on this journey. Um, I hope you're doing it with me, and if you did, be sure and post it on our Facebook group, and I will see you on the next project. Bye-bye.